Unfortunately, lupus patients have taken a big hit from COVID. This is because COVID has had more of an impact in being more severe in lupus patients. One of my 16-year-old patients died, for example, in January. One of the reasons for this is that lupus patients are more subject to viral infections in general. And a second problem are the lupus treatments, some of which predispose to COVID. And that includes prednisone doses above 20 milligrams, the use of rituximab, and likely the use of mycophenolate, which is our major therapy for lupus nephritis. What we found was that COVID infection did not lead to more lupus flares. I think that was a surprise. And a particular surprise was that because after COVID, people had to quarantine, we actually saw fewer lupus rashes at the next visit. And the reason for this is avoidance of ultraviolet light protects the skin from lupus rash. The reason this is important is that COVID infection in the general population, when it is severe leading to hospitalization, has been associated with antiphospholipid antibodies. These occur in 50% of lupus patients already, and they're known to be a major predictive factor for blood clots, thrombosis, which is a major cause of death in people with COVID, particularly clots in the lungs. We found that COVID infection in my lupus patients did increase antiphospholipid antibodies. First of all, I really want every person with lupus to be vaccinated against COVID. This is so important. I wanted to particularly study this so I could be reassuring to my patients. I found that COVID vaccination was safe in my lupus patients. It did not lead to lupus flares and it did not increase any of the important antiphospholipid antibodies. I hope this good news will lead many more people with lupus to get vaccinated. 